The pieces of equipment for this experiment are as follows. You have a wooden block. This is essentially your sample that you're measuring the coefficients of friction. You want to measure the side, the coefficient for the rubber side as well as the wood side. The second pieces of equipment consist of your weights. In this case, this is a one kilogram disc. Please don't load more than three kilograms on your, on your block, otherwise it might damage the force transducer. Thirdly, the student force transducer. In Data Studio, this is actually listed as a student force transducer, so please don't pick the regular one. So, it operates like a handle. You basically pull it like this. Pulling it like this will register no data at all. Pulling it like this will possibly register negative data. So, and finally, your weight hook and weight, this is for calibrating your force transducer. In using the student force transducer, it's important to calibrate this instrument each time you set it up. In doing so, you have to use the weight hook as well as a second weight. The weight hook itself normally weighs 50 grams, and the weight you put on afterwards is kind of arbitrary, but normally we do about 100 grams or 200 grams. In order to do this, you have to be sure to convert that mass to newtons. So, to do so, you have to calibrate it at two points. Essentially, this device converts forces to voltages. So, we have to put 50 grams worth of uh, mass on here to get the requisite voltage. 50 grams is 0.49 newtons. So, once we've set that, data, uh, that point in Data Studio, which will be shown later, we then add a second heavier mass and do the same thing for the second data point. In the coefficient of friction experiment, there is basically one good way to do this experiment. There are several ways to do it wrong. The idea is that you have, that you're providing no normal force yourself and the only normal force is provided by these weights here, which you will change. A good pull, this is mostly level with the table. Notice how I'm slowly taking out the slack and working it up, moving it very, very slowly. You can move it a little bit faster, but that's good data right there. You want to see a peak and then a drop to the kinetic friction. So, this is not the best pull right here. Likewise, this is a very bad pull as it reduces the normal force on it, and you will get bad data. There's a good way and a bad way to take data with this equipment. This is the proper configuration right here. This is not going to work because the tongue goes up and down in this orientation. This is also a terrible way to do it. You will register exactly no force if you pull like this. So please remember to pull in this configuration. This is also a bad way to pull this block. Note how the pulling direction is this way and the block wants to come at an angle. This will give you bad data because the block will begin turning before it starts moving. In taking your data, there are a couple of things you can do. Um, the, the possibility exists that you might not pull hard enough after getting it started and such the block will stop. This doesn't make your data bad, but you do have to be aware that Data Studio will reflect this, like so. I'm pulling it very slowly and it stops. But then I start pulling again and get it started again. It jumps forward just a little bit and then comes back to kinetic friction. That's okay, just Data Studio's data will display a second peak. 